Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast between two best friends talking about stuff that we like to talk about. We are professional now, so I've got to tell you that I will be drinking. This is coffee at the minute, but I'm going to move on to beer very soon, and I'm going to swear a lot. So um, if you don't like that, fuck off. I'm Sam Thompson. He's Peter James Wicks. Let's get started. That was um, quite good, I thought. Isn't there someone who... Oh, my God, you know what I did do today? Walk past Ronan Keating. I, I was going to bring this up. Oh, okay, fine. No, no, we can, because it's fine, because it's not an important enough part to be part of the show. Sam calls me on the way here. And goes, you will never guess who I've just walked past. I, based on the fact that you've interviewed Hugh Jackman, Brad Pitt, and all these sort of people, was thinking big. Big. I was thinking Elton John, Denzel Washington, Ronan Keating. The fuck? And sorry seems to be the hardest word. That's not even Ronan Keating. He never no? sang that. No, that was Blue and Elton John. Right. Two sex. What's the one I like? When you say nothing at... See, mate, he's sick. We nodded at each other. What that means is that you nodded at him and then he just did that. No. What? So you think Ronan Keaton is now sitting there going, do you reckon he called his wife in the car and went, never guess who I've just walked past. Sam Thompson? Quite possibly, no, to be honest. We, we Yeah, and it was like a moment of like, we were both like recognised each other and we were like, we're on what, the same What, because wavelength. you're both on radio? Yeah. They're literally, you're both on the same wavelength. Like, yeah, because he's in magic. Yeah, uh, so he actually just works here. Yeah, yeah. See, but what what happened was you called me then to say you, you saw someone in work. <laughs> no, I thought it was very cool, and Pete completely shot me down. Yeah, because it was fucking irrelevant and boring. Anyway, uh, Sam, what have you done this week? Also, I'm just going to point out that we are um, we've been asked to bring changes of clothes this week because we've got to film three episodes. Yeah, in one day. It's apparently what everyone does. Apparently, everyone films like bulk films. Well, I don't like doing that because it means I've got to spend more time here. Why have you got to film three episodes in one day? Because uh, I'm going on holiday. And? Uh, you're going to do a show. And? Um, oh, struggling here. Well, because last week, Sam wasn't able to film. Oh, yeah. Because he was ill. I, did, I was ill. I was ill. He was ill. If you read all the press, it was blue lighted, rushed to hospital. Sam Thompson on deathbed. <laughs> He had a planned appointment <laughs> at the doctor's, then sat in a little bed because someone stuck a camera up his arsehole, right? That's basically what happened. Yeah. No, 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 you swallowed a pill, swallowed a pill with a little a camera. camera on it, then had to have a little man bag that vibrated too much for the mics to pick up. Yeah. So Sam sat there like a dildo last week, and that's why we couldn't film. So we've now had to do three in one day because Sam was vibrating. I do know that is so. I saw. Do you want to see a photo of my stomach? <gasps> you sent it to me already. Oh, okay, fine. And yeah. I didn't give a fuck then. It's very cool. It's not really. You can't see anything. It's like when people show you, oh, you're pregnant. Oh, and they do them 3D ultrasounds. It looks like a kidney bean, mate. Do you know what? I did read all these articles. It's crazy. I literally did one Instagram story being like, oh, I'm getting a camera down my throat. And um, and it's literally <laughs> Sam Thompson rushed to hospital. At no point yeah, was I ever rushed to hospital. But it's not even like one newspaper or, or fucking um, publication picked up on this. It was everywhere. I as know. if you were dying. I know. And then what made it worse is actually in the article, because you'd done a story going, oh, I've got to record the podcast later, which you didn't because you're a fucking pussy. Um, you actually said in the fucking story, and Pete's going to take the piss. So... It actually made people think that I'm that much of a prick, that you were blue lighted to hospital, but was still going to struggle to get to work and I was going to take the piss. On that note, actually, bullying. Well, let's discuss this. Okay, yeah, actually, yes, let's discuss this. I just want to um, state my case. So Sam put out another one of his fucking videos of me, him and Zara dancing around like um, Muppets. Legends. Now, what Sam does is he makes me do this for four hours literally four hours, and then films my breaking point. <laughs> it's not that I'm just naturally always angry and that much of a fucking prick. I've done it for four hours. <laughs> and he's prodded me and poked me for four hours until I've got the ump. Now, the problem with that is that people don't see that you're a passive bully. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. So what Sam does is he just nudges, 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 just, just does it. It's non-stop, like a woodpecker, just fucking hammers you down to the point where you go, fuck off, dickhead, and everyone goes, whoa, what a bully. <laughs> Actually, I'm the one that gets bullied. I, every time I go to his house, I get bullied by him and his entire team that seem to live there. They don't have a team, by the way. I went there again this week, the whole team are there. So the whole team who all live there, it's like a fucking cult. 
It's like the Sam Thompson cult of people that follow Sam Thompson's journey. He went and did the Love Island fucking final. His whole team turned up to support him. <laughs> Why? All you're doing is sat on a couch. It ain't about you. <laughs> did you watch it? Did you watch it? No. There I, you go. Why would I watch it? There you go. What do you mean, there you go? There you go. You're, you're saying something, but there's no... Go <laughs> there you go what? There you go. I mean, you didn't watch it. No. So how can you say? How can I say what? I don't know. I'm panicking now. What know. are you panicking about? I don't know. So anyway, so that's my point, is that I'm not a fucking bully. So for all the fucking knobheads that comment on Sam's pictures going, you need to stay away from... St you need to stay away from... What was that one? You need to stay away from Pete. I don't think he's good for your mental health. One of my one of my, one of my favourites was... Um, Fuck off. One of my favourites was, like, it was, like, really sincere. It was, like, normally really like your videos of Pete, but this is just too far. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually saved one of them. I actually saved one of them. <laughs> Um, hold on, hold on. It's a good one. You're going to enjoy this one. The beauty is I have the power of the edit. So I basically just, all of the prodding gets cut out. Someone, uh, I won't say the name of this person, <clears throat> um, had commented on saying, why do you swear so much? I much prefer Sam. Better looking, taller, doesn't swear. She then proceeded to then uh, write another one straight after that going, Pete is such a lech, that's why he's single. She then started commenting on my own photos, so went onto my Instagram to put, you're a fucking bully, no one likes you. <laughs> fucking hell, that, this is great, I and like it. And it went further, there was another one after that that then went into, hold on, you disgust me. Well, I mean, that's just normal. So I then went onto her Instagram. Tell me you replied, tell no, me you replied. No, 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 I didn't reply, I never replied. Just to have a look at who was sending this sort of stuff. But then I also looked at her bio, which is the funny, the best oh, I bet it's live, laugh, love, or be kind. <clears throat> so the bio of this lady Or is, dogs and me. No, 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 it gets better. Be nice, cost nothing, might make someone's day. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah, no. no. You disgust me. Be nice. Oh, that's so good. Um, so for that person, you know who you are. Uh, so what else have you done this week? I don't think I'm ready to leave this subject really quickly. But I just well, bullying? Yeah. I just think that you sometimes go a bit too far. Don't do with no, it. No, 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 no. I do. Because so, th you know what you're going to do here. And, and you know for a fact. And you're smiling. And it gets it. to me. Oh, you're but, it's like, but it's like, I feel like sometimes you need to be called out for like the person that you become. I'm sorry, but you can't because you know. That I know why you're doing it. No, it's, it's, not, it's not nice for people. It's not nice. No. 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 You know, people sit there and they watch it and they get scared. And and people like don't they like you as a person? They can't understand why you turn into this monster. You are the monster. I think it's time for a beer. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, and there, and there we have it. The root of all his. Problems. No, you can't do that. Actually, can you ju just tell everyone now that I don't bully you? That sounded bullyish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, no, listen, I I don't bully you. I give you tough love. You are genuinely, and you please admit this for one minute before I get any more fucking people having a go at me and thinking I'm a horrendous person. You actually more, you bully me. Duff you wear me. No, but, but it's similarly, equal amounts. Yes, I get angry and I call you a fucking prick and you do my head in, but you prod me for that reaction. <laughs> if it was that bad, he wouldn't keep prodding. He'd learn not to be a twat. But actually, he keeps going because that's what he wants. He wants that reaction. <laughs> Sam is the one that wants that. So as much as he, uh, you cower away from me after you've prodded me to the point where I'm going to hit you. And then you go, oh, God, like, like, like you're a broken... <laughs> and that makes the edit. <laughs> yeah, and then that's the bit that goes in and everyone just thinks I'm a fucking monster. And everyone's like, he's just trying to have a good time. Like, yeah. I don't understand. Just let him live. Why have you got to be so horrible with Sam? People have started saying it on the fucking Staying Relevant one, <laughs> on the podcast. Oh, God, you should be nicer to Sam. No, fuck him. He's a cock. Maybe we should just take a couple of, you know, some lessons from all of this. Yes, yeah, stop prodding me and I won't hit you. I think it was because Zara was in the last one as well. <laughs> it was like there was a girl there. But and yeah, and the funniest part of that is that I whenever me and Zara and you are together, me and Zara team up on Sam because Sam is such a horrible person to his girlfriend. It is unbelievable. I've watched him sit there, right, on TikTok, just flicking through people's dances. Literally, Zara will be upstairs and he'll go, Zara! <laughs> Zara! And she'll come down and she'll go, what? And he'll go. Can I have a grapefruit? You make me breakfast. I, I've it, never done that. There. You I fucking even, liar. I don't even like You called her. We said, well, whatever it may be. We sat there the other day and you were flicking through TikTok. She was upstairs getting ready and you called her down to answer the door. It's because we were working. No, we weren't. We weren't. 
we weren't working at all. And then we we needed something for uh, a video, which we're going to talk about later, that needed a remote. Didn't know where the remote was. Zara was at work on her way home, calls and goes, Zara, I don't know where the remote is. You used it last. And she went, Sam, I just don't know. I'll be home in 50 minutes. And and, and, and he went to her, well, you've ruined the day. <laughs> I've never. No, Pete, you can't do that because that's a full-blown lie. you just done a full-blown lie there. All that, I'm saying is, <laughs> some of the other this stuff time, is borderline. Power that, of the edit. It's a full-blown own lie what you've done there I'm just saying Zara deserves better <laughs> Zara, so is, Zara could... is a queen yeah so basically Pete's a bully um, <laughs> we are trying to change him but you can't change someone no. who doesn't want to change and maybe it is my fault maybe me bullying Sam is the reason he bullies his girlfriend I don't know oh. maybe it's a knock on effect we, do, we you know what, actually, know. do you know what I do fucking love is the fact that people now think and this could be classified as bullying is that people actually now think that every photo that I put up of me and Pete no, being edited right People actually think now, because if you've listened to the podcast a few times, you'll know that obviously I, I sometimes edit Pete's photos and like try and make sometimes, it seem like every everything. time. No, it's not every time. So now people even think that I've edited videos. So people will message under a video that me and Pete have done together and they'll be like, how have you edited this hairline in a video? And it's not even edited. Um, <laughs> but what's actually worse than that is now people comment on the the, 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 the pictures I put on my own Instagram saying, <laughs> sent that one to Sam, did you? <laughs> It's, it's, it's actually yeah. a problem. No, it's you That's got a, bullying. It's because you've got a big fucking nose. I, no, I have got a big nose and I've got a receding hairline. But, you know, let's not, let's not keep going on a pack. <laughs> See what I mean about being a bully? It puts me down non-stop. Um, anyway, um, staying relevant. Pete's not a bully. That's why we're here. Yeah, staying relevant. Um, I got told that this was too long ago. But I'm going to say this very quickly. Um, I got flown to South Africa for work for the final Love cool. Island. What have you done this week to stay relevant? I shat myself. And I haven't told anyone. Sorry, I think you'd missed what the question was. Yeah. How is you shitting yourself staying relevant? Oh, I don't know. I just wanted to tell you. This oh, is... wait, I saved it for this. <laughs> I saved it for the podcast. It's a shame you didn't save it for the toilet. <laughs> yeah, but there was a thing going round. And, um, and loads of people were shitting themselves out there. And I pretended that I never got it. And I was like, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I shat myself at the final. I shat myself at the final. And I just didn't tell anyone. And then I had to interview them afterwards. <laughs> I shat myself next to my jammer's mum. <laughs> and no one knew. And I kept on telling everyone, I've swerved it. I feel fine. <laughs> Did it not smell? This is the thing. I, like, it wasn't like a full <laughs> shit. It was like a half shit. It was like a nugget. It was a fart. It was a shit. And then I went, oh, no. So it was solid? Yeah. No, no, no. It was wet. But I could feel it. Wasn't it wasn't a fucking nugget then, was it? No, no. But it was like, you know, and like... So you just had the brown rain pouring from your arm. Yeah, like. yeah. And then I clenched. When I realised it wasn't a fart, I went, oh, like that. And I was like, keep it in. Now, you've got a stylist for this show. Yeah, I shat in her trousers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's why I took them home. Uh, yeah, yeah. She got Do everything back. Do you mind if I keep these ones? She got everything back other than the trousers. <laughs> Hold on, did you not keep the stuff that your stylist got? <laughs> no, they all went Oh, because you didn't actually have a stylist, did you? You. Uh, oh, this is actually quite a funny story. Sam just got Jordan North's fucking knockoffs. <laughs> got his army downs. Um, so you shat in her track. <laughs> now, you keep wearing on this a, a, a beige pair of corduroys. Yeah, you know, it was the black ones, though. So oh, thank God, God, thank God, thank God for that. God, yeah. Thank God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That could have been really That was, that was, yeah, I was thinking, imagine if a, something had seeped through the end. Yeah, not nice, not nice. But yeah, and I, and I hugged my Maya's mum. <laughs> lovely lady, lovely woman. Well, and I was sitting there going, "Aren't you just pr so proud of Maya?" <laughs> like, so, like with now, shit in my drawers. Now that Love Island's finished, and obviously you, it took you so long, weeks actually, to even get noticed by Maya, and now you think you're friends. How do you think this revelation is going to affect your friendship going forward? The fact that you shit yourself and then hugged her mother. I don't know. She actually, we had a really nice moment together um, yeah. after the after the reunion. We uh, we all went for a beer up in the green room, and um, I, in, I got in the green room, yeah. And I got a photo with her. Well, that wasn't a nice moment, <laughs> yeah. was it? There was nothing. I thought you were going to say we had a really lovely chat. No, you, what happens is, can can I have a photo? Yeah, and I queued. <laughs> what do you mean you queued? <laughs> well, actually, no. There's two parts of that story. So when we finished the reunion. 
everyone was taking photos of everyone. <laughs> I was just like holding my phone, waiting. I was like, this is going to be really good for the gram. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to wait for it. And then too many people were asking for photos with her. But then we went to the green room and then I got a photo. All I'll right. show you the photo. It's really nice. Not that fast. Okay. We, we weren't really going to talk. Um, I know. I'm sorry. I know it was a while ago. Um, I, just, I was saving that little nugget. And to be honest with you, I, I, I was just going to tell you afterwards just to edit that whole thing out because no one really cares. However, keeping the fact that you shit yourself. Uh, so, you ever and, shit yourself? Funny enough, no. And I, it baffles, genuinely, it baffles me when people um, do it because I just don't understand how you can. Well, you've clearly never had a fucking stomach problem then, mate, because I, no, there I are have. times where it just comes. No, I, ha I, I genuinely have, but I, I just always... I, could, I It's almost like my body's going, listen, you're building up to having a little fucking war in your old belly down there, so you need to get yourself close to a toilet, and then I just loiter around toilets. That didn't sound great. <laughs> Loitering? Well, you're just, <laughs> just always within the... I will never cut myself short. I, I, I've, I don't think I've ever pissed myself. I've never pissed myself either. I've just spat everywhere. I've actually, I, I, you know, have you ever been so drunk that you've pissed in your bedroom? Oh, I've done that. I've pissed in a wardrobe, yeah. Yeah, I've pissed out, I've pissed out my window. Yeah, it was really annoying as well because I'd just bought a really fucking lovely jacket and it had fucking dropped from, from the hanger in the wardrobe. This was years ago, it dropped from the hanger in the wardrobe and I pissed all over it and it still had the fucking tags on. I couldn't even take it back. Why do we do that? It's because you get so disorientated. I, I mean, when I say years ago, I must have been 18. Fuck, that is years ago. Um, <laughs> That's 20 years ago. No, it's not. 16. Um, and I just opened the water because I thought it was the toilet and, and just pissed. I keep spitting. I don't know what's happened. Yeah, and I, yeah, I just pissed fully in the wardrobe. And sh well, I shut the wardrobe. It was, it was a struggle trying to find the flush. Apparently, I was pissing out my window and um, my, my ex woke up and went, what are you doing? And I was still obviously asleep and drunk. And I turned around while pissing and so then pissed on the bed. I was going, I went, shut up. <laughs> How close... Was the window to the bed if you just turned around close. and it was window to bed? Yeah, it was quite close. No, surely not. I've seen your car. No, it's, I don't have... <laughs> I've seen it. Have you staying at hers, were you? <laughs> <laughs> two up, two down. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so staying relevant. Uh, I think it's one for both of us this week. Go on. Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Um, this has been one of the weirdest weeks in the world of Sam and Pete because... Zara and her brother were involved in, um, a lot of people were involved in a new thing that Sam has decided he wants to take forward. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, Sam and I recorded a song and music video. Yes, we did. Stars. Now, I actually thought it was quite funny, the idea for once. Really liked the idea. It's a song that was written by Zara and her brother, who is, um, uh, he's actually a tax man, but he likes to do music on the side. Um, I just thought he was into music because he had all the fucking gear and then asked him what he did and he was like, just tax returns and stuff. Uh, slight, you know, weird. Anyway, uh, lovely guy. So they wrote this fucking song, came up with a fucking beat and, and all this lyrics. And it's based on Daily Mail comments that we've had over the years. So all the lyrics are just Daily Mail comments of things people have actually said to us. I listened to the lyrics, sounded great. Listened to the little beat, sounded great. We then did it. Now, Sam has now decided he could potentially be a fucking pop star. Because obviously it's auto-tuned to shit. Sam has now decided that that's what we're going to do. This was only supposed to take a quick like, hour to record all the stuff and, and whatever else. It spent three hours recording the song uh, and then I had to move around my entire week to come back to record the music video. We made a music video, baby. Which had two directors. <laughs> yeah. A music video with two directors. Um, now, the music video, uh, I mean, it's... I don't even know what to say about it, really. It's fucking cool. Do you want to play the song? Yes, yes, I do. Now... Before we begin, just note who sounds like an actual artist. And, and I, who... I, do you know what? And I genuinely, and this is what the annoying thing was, and this is why I actually, in the end, hated doing it. So after, I thought it was a really good idea. By the time Sam recorded each of his sections 20 times over, right? Because he was going, no, I just, I can give it more, I can give it more, I can give it more. No, 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 that wasn't right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then kept going and going and going. I did each of mine once. <laughs> 
Yeah, but right. yours was shit. Because no, no, no. But let me let me just get to the point here. Sam genuinely was going. That's how you drop a beat, man. <laughs> like talking, like like talking to Zara's brother, like he was the beat engineer of this brand new fucking uh, music movement that Sam has now created. Sam cannot sing, and even in the auto tune version, which I've not even said to you yet, and I actually played to someone else yesterday. How good? You, they said you sound screechy. Oh, and fuck off! Even in that, no, it's in tune. No, but let, you are. Let me play it. Let Mine, me play it. I've got dulcet tones. No, you're so out of tune. Ready? Sam Thompson gets right under my skin. I can't stand the guy so smug, entitled American. Be please have a boss. You look like you need one. You look like you need one. He's only five for five. Just leave him alone. If autism and GBH were a person I like them together I like Sam better Than with that boss side bitch Zara Sam is looking so old and rough right now What happened to him? Give it a few more years and he will finally settle down With a man he wits is the creepy uncle You get told no to go near Babies, he will have a wash now About as funny as diarrhea Diarrhea, 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 diarrhea Is that guff still on TV? Diarrhea, 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 diarrhea You still have a better body Diarrhea, 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 diarrhea He likes sausage from Pete, allegedly Diarrhea, 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 diarrhea He would try and harm the tree if he could, sleeve bag. <laughs> I've never heard such a pity ramble <laughs> in my life. That is effectively people sitting there going, God, they're over 30, both of them. <laughs> diary, diary, <laughs> diary, um, diary. Anyway, so this is probably the weirdest staying relevant of my entire staying relevant career. How life. fucking good is that? It's not those things. Oh, fuck off. No, no, no. But this is the funny thing. When you step away from it, because at the time, I thought, this is actually going to be really funny and this is going to be really good. And at the time, and then it was fine for the first hour. Then it got really aggravating because you started hiring fucking two different directors to do music videos. You started thinking you could actually sing. Everyone was just getting, you repeated the song. All you've done is sing Diarrhea at me all week. Um, and it just got really annoying. So catchy. Then, then what happened was then I played it to other people who weren't there and didn't know the context. And they sort of went, Oh, yeah, it's all right, yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, God, that is shit and quite embarrassing. <laughs> um, if people don't like this video, that's embarrassing because we spent two days, as in two full days, making this video. So if you don't like it, we're in trouble. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that's basically... Um, um, that is basically what we both did to stay relevant this week. Yeah. I think it was, a, it was a joint effort and possibly one of the worst. And if it goes well... If this does Sam, well... Sam wants to release this on Spotify. I do, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. I have no qualms about that. I'd like to do that. Yes. Who is going to want to fucking listen to a song where the chorus is repeating diarrhoea? <laughs> it's very catchy. Actually, I'll have you know. But I think we should carry it on. If people like it, we'll do more. So if you like it, subscribe, follow, and leave a comment and, uh, and tell us to do more. Oh, sorry, you're now using this podcast to promote your music career. Yeah. What, are you going to interview yourself on here? You have a grey strand of hair that I, I haven't been able to take my hand, my eyes off that's going down here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's dangling <laughs> and it's, it's shimmering. Sounds it's so it's silver. It is shimmering. Down here. There's actually quite a few Like fucking, a unicorn feather. I, do you know what's it's really bad is that, is that obviously I'm going great, but it's going great in a streak like a skunk. <laughs> it's honestly, I'm, I'm getting like a, a band of, of a little bit like that bird from X-Men. What's her name? Storm. Storm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, just, it's just like a grey fucking strand that is just going all the way down the back. <laughs> Corella Deville, yeah, terrible that because I love dogs. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's getting really bad. The, the greyness. I can't get it out of my head. I just keep looking at it. It keeps like <laughs> blinding me. The light keeps refracting. Refra refra what well, I could, I could hide refracting. my refracting. I could hide my grey and go and get sort of a peroxide um, highlights like you do. Um, this is natural. It's natural. Yeah. Well, you naturally were born with hair like straw. <laughs>
So, side brush segment, which obviously we normally do, uh, and I, I've got loads of things uh, in the Daily Mail that, that we could talk about, but we apparently got a surprise. What? So uh, we've got to Cyber Shame, which is just a cues to, to let us know. And we've got a producer surprise. And it says, dot, 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 wait and see. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what the fuck this is. Neither do I. Yeah? Who's walking in? Sidebar of Shame. It's the Sidebar of Shame. Yeehaw. We've got a jingle. We've got a jingle, baby. We're official. Ah. Can, we, can we do the jingle again? Is that, is that me? Sidebar of shame. It's the sidebar of shame. Yeehaw. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Charlotte, I love you, and you are a great producer. Disappointing surprise. Oh, I fucking love that. That's made my day. I thought podcasts have done so well. Here's a couple of gold watches. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Here is. And actually what we've done, we've clipped up a jingle. Um, a sidebar of motherfucking shame. Oh, I'm so here for that. We are official now. We are a podcast. We have a jingle. Well, what were we before? Just two blokes with a cut of microphone? Yeah, that's exactly basically what we, what we still are. That is what a podcast no, is. No, because now we've got a jingle. We're making moves. We're making hay while the sun shines. This has been a strong week for us musically. We've got a jingle <laughs> and, and released a song. So this has been a strong... Should we do a dance? There'll be an album coming out. We soon. should do a dance. No, we're not doing a dance. No? No, no. Are you sure? Had, yeah, because I can't... Uh, uh, see, this is what I mean. This is exactly the point Hello. about bullying. Here is you start here prodding is. and prodding and prodding. No, we're not doing a dance. Um, anyway, Sidebrow Shane this week. So, what have you got for me? Oh. Sidebrow Shane, what have you got? Nothing. Absolutely nothing? No. Okay, fine. Well, um, I'll tell you what I've got. What have you got? Two things. First thing, whilst flicking through the Daily Mail, I found out something that absolutely blew my fucking mind. Paris Hilton's 42. That sounds about right. She's been around for fucking years. Yeah. It's the sweet life. Oh, no, that's Zach and Cody. Wait. Simple life. Simple. It's the simple life. Oh, it's just the same tune, is it? No, <laughs> it's simple life with Nicole Richie and Paris Hilton. But she's 42. That makes me feel really old. See, what I find interesting about this is Kim K used to be her PA. Well, what? Kim Kardashian used to be her assistant. Cool. That's like fucking Karate Kid really kicking the fuck out of the fucking Mr. Miyagi, isn't it? How nuts is that? And then, and then she's obviously become a billionaire and Paris is just like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, because she was always struggling for money, Paris. No, but you know what I mean? Like, Kim Kardashian's become Kim Kardashian. Yeah, and Paris Hilton is, is, is heir to the Hilton fucking hotels. Yeah, I'm sure she's doing fine. Yeah, she might be doing fine, but it, That is the Hilton. Though. Yeah, no, it yeah. is, yeah. Um, very nice, actually. I like a Hilton. Yeah. Moving on, though, Kim K. Oh, she was in England! Kim K was in England. She had a Guinness. She had a Guinness. Yeah, and a baby Guinness. Day, uh, and a baby Guinness. Fam little family Guinnesses. Uh, she was just in a pub. Yeah, no, like that though. I vibe that. She's just one of us. You vibe that. Yeah. Sorry, one of us. Yeah, because you're always down the boozer, aren't you? <laughs> what do you mean? When have you ever been to a pub? You're 100% you know, should we go to the wine bar? Kim K walks into a bar, right? Is this the start of a joke? No, Kim K walks into a bar. You're Pete Wicks. Go. Oh, look, it's Kim Kardashian. <laughs> no, sorry. Kim K walks into the bar, walks to the bar... Ask for a Guinness, you're stood at the bar, next to her, you're both like this. What do you do? Well, I imagine I carry on drinking and she probably picks up the Guinness and sits at the table Fuck with the people she's with. No way. She comes in on her own. She's looking a little bit lonely. Paps are following her. All right, what would I say? Uh, can you get you a drink? <laughs> oh, uh, that was quite good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I don't know. No. I don't know. How do you chat up Kim Kardashian? Who knows? I'll do it. I'll do it. Kim, come here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why are you doing that? I haven't even started yet. Fucking hell. So you're opening line to someone you've never met before. Kim, come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. Good boy. Kim, No, come not here. like that. As in just like, you just got to act like you're one of them. Kim, come here. One of what? Say. A fucking superstar. Is yeah. that what we're saying? I feel like, look, I spoke to Brad Pitt. You do your thing, I'll do my thing. Do you know Brad? Yeah, mean thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, we, look, we both do our kind of thing. Like, it's really nice to see someone else in the industry here. In the industry? <laughs> How are you in the same industry? 
in, by any stretch of the imagination. If she, she, she you, I tell you what you're like. You're like a barnacle on the fucking whale of industry. You're just something that's just hanging on that people can't. <laughs> barnacle. Quite, that's exactly. You're like. A, that's exactly what you're. You're the barnacle of the fucking. Do you know what you are? You're the Popeye. No, I'm. I'm more like plankton. It just gets eaten up by the fucking whale. You're just hanging on to it. You know. Have you seen The Last of Us? Where the uh, fungus goes into goes into thing and takes over the mind. Well, I, I, they were like, "You're the fungus." Someone said, "You're the fungus that goes in, takes over their mind, and then kills it." With your hair like that, you look a little bit like because you know when they with the, in that Last of Us with the fungus, it looks like they've got cauliflower. On yeah, them. it's a little bit like that, all like that fucking blondy Fuck thing. It, you do look a little bit like you've already been um, bit by whatever it is. Okay, cool. So wrapping this up. That was smooth. Great segue there, straight from mid conversation to so wrapping this up because we've been told to shut up. Um, do you want to just finish the Kim K thing just with a nice round off? Just breeze it out, just fade it out. So, yeah, that's the Kim Kesh. <laughs> that's the Kim Kardashian story. So, to wrap things up, um, if you want to listen, then please do. Every Monday, it is on every podcast platform. Just search Staying Relevant. We're also on YouTube every Friday. There's extra bits. So make sure you subscribe and follow, rate, review, do all that stuff. But I'll tell you where we do know how to follow. Instagram, uh, Staying Relevant Podcast. Mm. And on TikTok, which I think is the same. I don't have TikTok, so I don't know. But it's, it's, it's the same, same one. Yeah. Staying Going podcast. viral on a daily. Going viral on the daily, apparently. Um, so yeah, do all of that stuff. Great. Ta-da. You... Beautiful fuckers. Ha! I want to eat it. We've quite we, a good day. To I mean, I literally, I literally, when I was doing all this, I've got a list of about thirteen things to talk about, and all we've got through is you can't fucking reach a toilet and you think you can sing. That's as far as we've got. <laughs> You're a bully. I'm a bully, and I'm going great. That's, <laughs> that, that's, that's as far as we've got. Do let us know if you've enjoyed this episode. <laughs> Don't actually, because I can't imagine you have. So, oh, hello. Sorry. So I'm just going to have to take this. Oh. Hello? How you doing, brother? You good? Sorry. Yeah, not bad, man. Sorry, just. Sorry. Spot on. All right, I will. Um, I'll probably be about an hour or so. All right, man, I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye bye. Who the fuck is that? <laughs>